Interpower Corporation, the premier supplier for power system components with one week manufacturing lead time and over 4 million parts in stock. Visit www.interpower.com for more information. Today on Engineering Newswire, we're kicking cancer sticks with a new wearable, developing the wind tracer at Lockheed Martin, and playing video games with your pee. Lockheed Martin has been awarded a contract by the U.S. Air Force Research Laboratory, or AFRL, for its Wind Tracer Wind Measurement System. The system will help C-130 and C-17 air crews make safer, faster, and more accurate airdrops of essential supplies to U.S. ground forces at remote locations. Under the contract, a prototype of a precision airdropped or pad unit for testing will be designed and built and then airdropped to the test site to measure winds. Traditional airdrop missions require several flyovers to accurately determine wind readings. The wind tracer technology would help eliminate the need for so many passes. Wind Tracer operates by transmitting pulses of eye-safe infrared laser light that reflect off naturally occurring aerosol particles in the atmosphere. Wind moves these particles, which alters the frequency of the light that is scattered back to the system. Wind Tracer processes the return signal to determine wind conditions with extremely high accuracy. According to Chrono Therapeutics, 46.6 million Americans are still smoking cancer sticks, and about 70% of them want to quit. Well, the company created Chrono Dose, a programmable transdermal drug delivery platform that tailors the timing and dose sizes of drugs to preempt predictable peak disease and addiction symptoms with an easy to use device. Their new wearable electronic device is the Smart Stop, the world's first programmable nicotine replacement therapy that is poised to change the way people quit smoking. Hey, anything beats those Chantix beaver dreams. The device is synchronized with cravings and delivers a preemptive higher dose before the nicotine shakes start to make you edgy. Before you wake up and need that sweet, sweet morning smoke, it has already hit you with a high dose of nicotine. The wearable consists of two components, a reusable base device that comes in several different form factors and replacement cartridges. It also connects to mobile devices via Bluetooth so you can control dosing during the weaning off process and create a profile. The information helps customize dosing and the app also offers ongoing coaching and behavior support as well as alerts if you're not following protocol. You need to keep you on your toes since it takes eight attempts typically for a smoker to give up the habit for good. Well now all Chrono needs is FDA approval and smokers just might have a suitable solution for smoking cessation. Anything but Chantix. A new video game has hit the market, and while it doesn't require a controller, it's not quite hands-free. Yep, this video game is controlled entirely by your urine. After experimenting with many ideas, including lasers, ultrasound, induction sensors, and even cameras, which were ruled out on privacy grounds, the team realized that infrared cameras would accurately detect where the urine was flowing. According to the company, the process of interpreting the signals from the sensors isn't trivial in this environment. The bathroom. But after building several prototypes, the games are currently installed in 10 different countries around the world. The games include a skiing challenge, multiple choice quizzes, an opinion poll, as it's called, and recently, the Captain's Cannon in partnership with Captain Morgan's Rum. And not only can players build up an online score and compare results with other users, but they can post their scores to Twitter and Facebook from their cell phones. It makes you feel more like a man. Do you have story ideas? Comment below and we'll cover them in the next episode. For the PD&D channel, I'm David Manti, and this has been your Engineering Newswire.